Hey everyone, Matt Stevenson, president of Allied Wealth here. Thanks for coming back to our On The Money YouTube channel. Today I'm joined again by my good friend and financial advisor, Peter Lott. Hey Matt. And today what we wanted to address is this ticking tax time bomb that oh. is on our hands. Oh. That's a big one, isn't it? And we're not talking specifically about tax filing every single year with your CPA or what you're doing on your own. We're talking about the composition of your nest egg and how Uncle Sam is a partner in your retirement plan. Pete, you know, what are some of the questions that you're seeing from clients when they call in from the show or, or watch our YouTube channel? Matt, every day I get questions about what is a Roth conversion? How do we do this? How do we implement this in our portfolios, our strategies? And that's something that we do. And I had a lady come in last week. Uh, her name's Carrie. She had no idea what this Roth conversion, do, how it works, what it means for her. And I explained to her exactly how this, how this is going to work, how we're going to build it. But you know what I told her? You're not going to leave here until you open this Roth because it's so important tax-wise for you in the future to do this now. This isn't something I can do in you know, a matter of days. This is something tax planning for the future, for the next 25 to 30 years. How are we gonna get you out of those tax infested accounts through a Roth conversion and into something that's way more tax efficient, way more easier to afford later on in the future? Because as you know, they didn't hire those 87,000 new IRS agents for nothing. <laughs> those guys got to earn their keep, right? And so. you know, this is something that we, from our clients, we hear that maybe other financial advisors don't talk about as much. Hardly any do. And there's a reason for that. It's because if we consider a Roth conversion, we pay the tax up front. Right. And if we're moving it from one bucket to another, that means they're earning less in fees. But one of the cool things about what we do is we're fiduciaries. That means that we've got a legal responsibility to put our client's interests ahead of our pocketbook, right? And so considering things to be t as tax efficient as possible, not only now, but looking ahead, legacy for a loved one, a spouse, your kids, to leave behind and not dump this huge tax burden that Uncle Sam has on us on their head is extremely important. You know, a lot of people right now, Matt, they've got a pension, Social Security, uh, maybe they got some rental income, but they've got, what I'm saying is they've got enough money that they're not having to use their IRA dollars to fund their, their income. And they're not 72 yet, 72 and a half yet, so they're not required, taking uh, uh, required minimum distributions, but they're gonna have to, right? So well, how we wanna build this is build you a plan that encompasses everything, right? Not just all the investment stuff, but also plan on the tax part of it. Yeah. And, and have a plan because a lot of them, when they have the big pension, Social Security, and they're living inside that budget, they're looking for a legacy benefit. Well, how are we gonna leave this legacy benefit to some kids, our beneficiaries, in these tax infested accounts that's just gonna be that much more of a tax problem for them? So the Roth conversion is huge to do now for yourselves, but also in the event of a legacy to leave that money behind. And they're gonna inherit that money tax-free just like they would a normal Roth. So they're gonna be in a much better position. And that's something that I like to instill or educate my clients on a daily basis. And, and Pete, you just touched on this with those mandatory distributions that start at age 72. Uh, client example from a couple of weeks ago, uh, this was a gentleman who'd done really well in saving. He built almost a $3 million nest egg for he and his wife. But, you know, looking at their needs, uh, retiring here in a couple years, he only needs about 100 grand to live on, which relative to what he's saved, combine that with Social Security, should put him in pretty good right. shape, depending on market environment and things that we're able to do to manage around that. But the thing that I was able to show him that he hadn't considered yet, because every dollar of that three million bucks was in a 401k pre-tax or a traditional IRA. And so I was able to show him that in about 10 years time, the mandatory distribution on that $3 million portfolio was gonna be about $200,000 a year. That Uncle Sam forced him to draw out. Now he only needs half of that to live on to maintain his lifestyle quite comfortably for the next 30 plus years for he and his wife. And so that's an extra $100,000 that he's forced to draw out that he doesn't even really need but here's the kicker. That's in an environment where tax rates are likely to be way higher than they are right now. And Pete, you and I have seen the same statistics. The government is basically telling us right now that something like two thirds of every tax dollar funds Medicare, Medicaid, 
the interest on our $32 trillion of <laughs> national debt and Social Security. But if nothing changes, that number is going to be something like 90 percent within the next 10 years. And folks, that means that there are almost assuredly going to be changes to the tax code and result in much higher taxes in the future. And so that's exactly why it's essential that we look at these these items right now and prepare for it. Matt, taxes are gonna be the biggest expense anyone has exactly. in retirement. I don't care what tax bracket you are, I don't care how much money or how much little money you have, taxes are gonna be your biggest expense. So why don't we do something now so that we can protect those dollars for the next 30, 25, 30 years, you're in a better tax place. And yeah, it takes a little bit of work. You've gotta, you've gotta come and call us and talk to us and, and press the button and, 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 and sit down with us, but it's easy to do, right? It's easy for you to, to open that account now. It doesn't take anything. It, it, your advisor will be able to handle that. We handle that in the office every single day, several times a day, and you absolutely need to start one now because those tax-free dollars are gonna be your biggest asset later on in life than you have right now because that $3 million 401k that, 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 you're, that you're talking about, that's not all his money. He's going to have to give a lot of that money. If he doesn't make changes, a he's going to give a lot of that plan. money to Uncle Sam. And last time I remember, I don't like paying Uncle Sam any more than I have to. That's right. Right? So we want to make sure that we can put those in tax-protected accounts later on in the future and get and reap those benefits. And, and, you know, thinking about leaving a legacy for your loved ones, you know, this same guy that I was talking about saved $3 million. He's got two kids that are making more than a quarter million bucks a year. They've got great incomes, great careers. They're pretty young. They're in their late 20s, early 30s, right? So they've got a long time horizon ahead of them. And if he leaves behind, say, three, four, five million dollars in pre-tax accounts, which is possible at his withdrawal rate, then they're going to have a tax nightmare because one of the recent changes to the tax code is uh, they have to withdraw all of those funds, meaning the children would, within a 10-year time span. So at that point, you could be talking about an extra quarter million dollars of income every single year for each of those kids, putting them potentially in the highest tax bracket Right, because you're right, Matt, because you're saying you, they're making $200,000, $250,000 a year. Well, they're already in a high tax bracket. Yeah. Then we add in the money from uh, their parents' IRAs. That puts that money at the highest possible tax bracket. And these you, are, just, you just basically took half of your money almost and gave it to Uncle Sam and gave half it to your children, whereas a few steps now mean all the difference in the world later on down the road. And, and folks, these are the elements that we want to build a plan around every single day. This is what we do for a living. You know, so much about tax planning, how to become efficient over the longevity of your retirement, but it ties directly into leaving a proper legacy for your loved ones, being able to generate an effective income stream all the way through retirement. And, you know, it, it ties to every piece of building your retirement plan. So if you have questions about that, certainly give us a call. Our office line is 281-444-7555. If you've liked our content today, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and stick around for more content coming next time.